Hey guys, welcome back to the Alpha Point. Today I'm gonna review the Soto Max version 3 ROM for the Galaxy Note 2 with all the features of Galaxy Note 3. It has been released on the 20th November this month, and today I'm gonna show to all of you. So first take a look at the version number. As you can see, Android version 4.3 and uh, here you can see the built number dn3 version 3 e team electron team here and it has all the features of node 3 like air view smart scroll smart stay smart pause the new air command window and there are several other features like the new S Note of from Galaxy Note 3, the Flipboard, the Group Play, Scrapbook, all the features. So I'm gonna review from one by one from start. So first, take a look at the Air Command, the feature that we were awaiting from the Note 3, but Samsung didn't push it out in its official update. So first, take a look at that. Here it is, scrapbook, scrapbooker, action memo, screen write, S finder, pen window. First, take a look at the pen window first. Draw a window here, and you can get a window, and you can use it in just window. You don't need to, you can use as many window as you want. I'm gonna draw another window here like bring calculator you can even resize it sorry you need to get practice with it and then you can minimize it here i can go maximize it we can go maximize it back to it so these are the features of the air command pen window so t take a look at the next feature s finder just find anything just search anything that like multi window it will show all the multi features in your phone Related to multi, as well as multi window, multi widgets, multi window, it, it it can also search web in Google. So these are pretty awesome features. Next, see here uh, in settings, there maybe you may find some problem finding some settings here. So you can directly search here anything like uh, air command. Air browse, as you can see, it is already coming here. Air command, air gesture, air jump, air view, all the settings related to air. You don't need to search all of the in settings here. You can do just quickly here. Let's look at the another feature of S Pen here. Look at screen right. It will take a picture of it of your screen. Write anything that you want. And save it here. Or you can delete this. It has been saved here in your scrapbook. Now take a look at the next feature. Scrapbook. Just draw anything here. And it will collect the content for you and it will save in the scrapbook just save it you can find it in your scrapbook here i'm getting some problem finding the scrapbook here it is You can see here you that this scrapbook that I captured some times ago, and uh, 
here we can see action memo the first option here you can write anything here like uh, anything that you want okay like this pen and uh, let's look at the next feature here look at the new multi window i have enabled it just press for some seconds here and your multi window will be enabled as you can see it is here you can change its position from left to right bring any applications out there the new multi window from node 3 is not just a multi window from node 2 it is a brand new multi window with quad view you can open as many window as you want not just two window like the galaxy note 2 or any previous multi window version as you can see i have opened three applications here side by side and can open more as i want i can resize it here just with hand or with s pen i can minimize it like the pen window option i can maximize it here so these are the this awesome features added from note 3 in a year old note 2 look at the next feature that is the one hand operation as you can see just swiping like arrow you can get your screen become one handed just bring anywhere in your hand like if you are using here you can use it with just one hand you don't need both your hands to use this device you can go this side with left side too you can use uh, you can use with your left hand too just swipe like a arrow I just need some practice here it is not opening you need to practice I need to do it from left my left hand so sorry for that and uh, now look at the next feature just go double scroll with your two hands or two fingers and uh, you can see all the options from like smart stay smart pause you need to enable it just click it here and smart rotation smart pause from the node 2 it was present in node 2 just smart scroll just you need to tilt your device like see i'm gonna show as you can see it is tilting based on tilting on of my eye this was from tilting head and you can also do by tilting device see as you can see this feature from node 3 has been added in the ditto version of node 2 now there is a smart pause option if you are playing any video and if you just move your head uh, side inside in sideways then it will pause your video that feature from node 3 and there are several other features that came from node 3 to node 2 the kernel version has changed here the camera app is as same as it was i had shown in the short max rom there's no change in it the user interface has changed here as you can see there is a folder options in the user interface in the app drawer also you can create folders in your desktop here you can like if you i want to create a folder here just create folder name anything and there is your folder here you can place any app inside it just bring any app and you will just click here and you can press plus and add all of the app that you want to inside insert it 
all my apps inside this folder i can i need to uh, remove one by one to remove from this folder i just cancelled the operation here the folder is empty now as i wanted here so these are the features that the Ditto rom has in the version 3 hope it will improve in the next version and about the battery life i would say it has a great battery life i would say much better than the uh, official update from the samsung thumbs up to the Ditto team with their awesome rom provided to us and with the great work that they were provided it's great battery life great features no lag whatsoever i would say it is running as smooth as it was in 4.1.2 it has a, it has improved a lot i would say and that's all from this video guys if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you hope to see you again